greeting learners welcome to our video series on basic programming using c language if you are here you must be interested in either of the two things writing beautiful code through one of the best programming language there is or brushing up your skills before an upcoming interview i am here to tell you that this series addresses both this lesson is split into two videos in our first video we will develop our first c program it will also explain the basic elements of a c program and introduce you to header files this video will conclude with a quick overview of the compilation process the second video will explain the functioning of printf and scanf built functions in detail header files will also be taken up again in this video and will be explained in detail let us start our journey by asking a very fundamental question what is a program and the answer in simple words is a program is a sequence of instructions that can be executed by a computer to perform a specific task consider a simple task of multiplying two numbers 3 and 4 let us try to develop a program to accomplish the same before these two numbers can be multiplied we need to store them in something called as variables variables are like containers which hold values these two sentences which look like mathematical equalities create two variables named var1 and var2 and assign 3 and 4 to them respectively let us understand each element of these two sentences also known as statements the tags before the variable names indicate the type of data they will be holding the tag before var1 and var2 is int which is shorthand for integer by putting int before var1 and var2 they have been decided to hold integer type of data this is one of the many data types we will look through in later videos the equality sign plays a special role in c programming this symbol belongs to a group of special symbols known as operators operators are instructions in the form of special symbols which instruct the computer to perform a very specific task the equality symbol also known as the assignment operator assign the value on its right hand side to the variable on its left hand side if there is an expression on the right hand side it is first evaluated and then the evaluated value is assigned to the variable on the left hand side The assignment operator in these two statements will assign 3 and 4 to var1 and var2 respectively. You should notice that each sentence is ending with a semicolon. This is how we terminate each standalone executable statement in C language. Once we have stored the numbers to be multiplied, we need to instruct the machine to multiply the numbers. The simple task of multiplying two numbers can be accomplished by making use of the multiplication operator which is also one of the many operators available in the C language. The left hand side of this statement creates another variable named product declared to hold integer type of values. The right hand side of this statement makes use of the multiplication operator and multiplies var1 and var2 multiplying the variables is equivalent to multiplying the values held by these variables finally the assignment operator assigns the evaluated value to the variable on its left hand side once this statement has been executed the variable product will hold the result of the multiplication which is 12 These three statements put together create the effect of multiplying 3 and 4 but they are still far away from being called a program in order to make them executable program we need to pack them into a function 
functions will be covered in great detail in later videos for the time being you can consider function to be self contained unit of operations which perform a specific task multiple stand alone executable statements can be bundled together to create functions functions may require some data to do what they are supposed to do and may return the output produced by them this is how the three statements can be clubbed together to form a function the name of this function is main it is a special type of function which every c program must have the main function is the entry point to every c program a program may be split in multiple files and have numerous other functions but whenever the program is run the execution will start from the main function the int tag before the name of the function indicates that this function will return an integer value and the last statement in this function does exactly that it returns zero to the entity which calls this function since this is the main function the value is returned to the operating system which is actually responsible for running and managing this program zero return value indicates that everything went good and a non zero value indicates otherwise the word void in between the parentheses following the name of the function indicates that this function does not need any data to perform its operation you should also notice the pair of opening and closing curly braces everything contained within these bracket is considered to be the body of the function the body of the function consists of a set of statements which are executed one after another though this program is complete in all respects it is still not executable in its present form you need to compile it and convert it into an executable format we will briefly discuss the compilation process in a while but let us just assume that this program has been compiled and is ready to run well you when you run the program you won't observe anything happening because the program has not included any statement to display the result and other relevant information and hence the program silently multiplies 3 and 4 stores the result in the variable named product and exit if we want to display some output on the screen we need to write statements for the same if you are adventurous you may prefer to write your own functions for displaying information or you may borrow a function from a large collection of built in functions that come pre packaged with the c development environment let us learn to make use of built in functions in our program to make it display the result of multiplication the built in functions or the library functions are usually split in two files their definition which simply introduce the syntax of the function is housed in header files these files are ordinary text files with the extension of .h the actual functionality of the functions are housed in binary files which are not human readable in order to make use of a particular function you need to include the relevant header file in your program file the name of the function that provides the functionality of printing on terminal is printf and the relevant header file is stdio.h this header file contains many other output input related functions which will we see later in order to make use of the printf function we need to include stdio.h file in our program the inclusion of a file is done by making use of the inclusive directive the very first line of this program includes the stdio.h file in our program the statement that directs the computer to include a header file starts with the hash character followed by the include directive statements starting with the hash characters are called preprocessors the include directives are always written at the start of the program this is done to include all the dependent functionalities before the programmer logic is considered the include directive looks for the mentioned file in designated folders and if the mentioned header file is found 
the directive literally copy paste the content of the file at the point where the directive has been issued you may also come across an alternative style of including a file which is this the include directive given in this style looks for the given file name only in the directory which is containing your program file this style is usually adopted to include user defined header files once we have included the relevant header file we can go ahead and use the required function in this program we have added a call to the printf function printf is one of the most frequently used functions very shortly we will be looking into its functionality in detail for the time being you can just assume that this function will print the content of the variable named product on the terminal this program is not very useful in its present form it does nothing more than the trivia task of multiplying 3 and 4 let us try to generalize this function by making it accept two numbers from the user luckily the function which reads input from the terminal is also housed in stdio.h file and its name scanf function this is the modified version of our program which accepts two numbers from the user and multiplies them very shortly we will look into the details of the functioning of the scanf function for now just assume that it will read and assign the two numbers input by the user into the where1 and where2 now this program is very generalized it accepts two numbers from the user multiplies them and prints the result on the screen but this program is still not executable in its present form it needs to be converted into its executable form this is done by the compiler let us briefly understand the compilation process the compilation process usually involves three stages pre processing followed by compilation and finally assembling and linking once the program has been compiled it can be executed the pre processing stage involves processing the include and other directives and stripping the source files from comments we will see these terms in detail in later videos the compilation stage checks for syntactical errors in the program and if none found will convert this human readable program into machine readable binary code the assembly and linking stage assembles all the created binary files into one file and generate a single executable file during this stage the binary versions of other relevant library files are also linked to the generated executable file these three stages convert a program into an executable program we will see the following output when we execute our program during the development of our first program we have made use of two most frequently used functions which are printf and scanf both of them are part of the stdio.h header file in our next video we will closely look into the finer details of the functioning of these two functions thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share it